Please hang up and try again. Alright guys, how's it going? It is Friday, the uh, 20th of October 2017 and you're watching CapTalk.tv. Alright. So I was just reading this article by uh, Chris Baskin mm, in the Telegraph. Uh, about James Milner, he says Liverpool are keen on keeping all the James Milner despite the lack of game time. Uh, and he's basically saying that you know Liverpool will do all they can to um, you know hold on to him in January during the January transfer window uh, because he you know uh, remains a vital part of Jurgen Klopp's plans this season. He's started just two Premier League games so far, uh, but underlined his qualities, qualities as Rafa would say, but I think he'd pronounce it with a a K and a W. Quality, yeah. Uh, with a star performance when recalled in the Champions League victory over Maribor on Tuesday, as you will know. You know, people were very um, impressed with his uh, performance in that game. Although the opposition obviously were not, you know, the best. Um, but it's seen a lot of people suggest that, you know, he should start against uh, Tottenham. And some people saying that five yards should maybe step aside. Um, let me know your thoughts on that um, <clears throat> on five yard and uh, and and uh, Milner in, in terms of starting. You know that that game against Maribor did well, so should he start against Tottenham guys, um, or should you know in in place of Henderson for example, or should they both play? Yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, it just got me. It got me. I mean, like he's he's one of them players, and he's not an exciting player, like a boring James Milner and all that. But he always puts a shift in, doesn't he, the lads? Uh, doesn't he, lads? He do, he, well, doesn't the lad? I don't want to start calling you lot lads. That's what the uh, Liverpool chief executive did the other day. I don't know if you saw that. As quite a few people were a bit upset because um, at the Maribor game, he put a couple of tweets out. I think the first one before the game kicked off was, you know, it focusing on the flags and everything, saying that the lads are here now, meaning the supporters. Uh, and then after the game said that, you know, great support from the lads tonight. And there was quite a few girls, you know, like, hang on a minute, there's fucking girls in there as well. You know, and they're calling him sexist and everything. Like, you know, oh dear. Yeah, I say now today, Kenny, I'm sure he didn't mean it like that. But um, I, I, I like to call you, look, guys. All right, guys, because that, like, that covers everything, doesn't it, I think, you know. But fucking what we're we talking about. Someone will be moaning now. Um... So yeah, just Milner really, guys. What's your thoughts on the lad? I mean, do you want to see him in that left back berth? I mean, people saying Moreno's doing all right now. Or do you want to see Robertson there? Or but about Milner, where does he go? Where, where, do you want him in the team? Do you want him in the team? Do you want him like out, up, up on the left side of midfield or something? Or in the centre? Do you want him at fucking left back? Do you want him on the bench? Where do you want him? So it just got me thinking about what people's feelings are about. He's not a player that excites me at all. But you can't have 11 exciting players, can you? You know, it's about his, his overall contribution to the team. That's far more important, yeah? So I'd just be interested to know what you think. And in terms of January, surely you'd want him to, us to hold on to him, wouldn't you? You wouldn't want us to cash in on him or get rid of it, lad. What do you think? Let me know. 